Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2018-2019 Teacher Workshop Series. This is the ESL SEI pre-workshop homework video. You can get to the ESL and SEI pre-workshop homework if you go to goacademy.com, select resources, scroll down and select ESL SEI homework. Click on that link, it'll bring you back to the pre-workshop homework page. It's called the Top 100. The ESL and SEI pre-workshop homework is designed to help you preview core concepts that we're going to be doing at the workshop. If you scroll down the page, you'll see a link to the video instructions and written instructions for the top 100. The top 100 are the core terms that we want you to preview before attending the workshop. These are the terms bolded in black in columns 1, 2, and 3. These are foundational terms that you need to know before attending the class or at least have some exposure to. For example, let's say you didn't know what phonological awareness was, or phonemes, or phonemic awareness. Each one of these bolded terms opens up to a link. If I press on this, phonological awareness, it'll open up to an article, a video, or a slide to clarify the concept. And this one right here, it's an article on phonological and phonemic awareness. This is a foundational concept that you need to know, whether you're taking the ESL exam or the SEI exam, or let's say minimal pairs. In the class, we may do a problem involving minimal pairs. So what is that concept? Click on the link. This one opens up into a slide on minimal pairs. A minimal pair describes two words, like ship and sheep, that differ by one phoneme. The terms in orange are going to be other terms that we discussed during the class, but the ones bold and black are the ones that we need you to know. Let's do one more like access. Under WIDA, what is access? Access is a summative assessment for English language learners. This is going to help you at the class when we go through questions involving access for English language learners. So make sure you look at the terms bolded in black, the top 100 English language learner terms. This is for both ESL and SEI teachers, and it's designed to help you get ready for the workshop. In addition to the top 100 terms, we've added two other sections to the pre-workshop homework that are more extensionary, meaning you can do them before or after the class, and they're going to help you in your studies long term as you get ready for your test. If you scroll down the page, you'll see the ELL flashcards. These are a great way, visual way, to review some of those core concepts that are in the top 100. I suggest that you take a look at these, use them to help you review some core concepts that we're going to be talking about during the two days. This is a great visual way to review some of those core concepts. In addition to the flashcards, we've added practice exams. So the practice exams give you an opportunity to practice doing multiple choice questions. The first three rows open up to practice exams and multiple choice questions involving reading exams. Like for example, the MTEL 90 Foundations of Reading Test. Even though these aren't ELL direct questions, there are a lot of ELL questions on these exams. Many of the questions dovetail things that you might see on the ESL and SAI multiple choice section, especially involving reading development and literacy. The last three rows are English language learner exams. The MTEL exams are from Massachusetts. This one here is from New York, Florida, Michigan, Illinois. They all have great questions if you want that additional practice for English language learner questions. And finally, this one right here is for SEI teachers only. It's part one of the five-part SCI essay. I know it's not the full five parts. You're going to have to study your notes from the workshop for that. But it does a great job of doing part one of the five-part SCI essay. So SCI teachers, make sure you take a look at this link. All right? Okay, team. Use the practice test as needed to help you get practice on the multiple choice. And also use the flashcards and the top 100 to review those core concepts before attending the Go Academy ESL and SCI workshops. All right, team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. I look forward to seeing you at the workshops. Take care. Hi, team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2018 Teacher Workshop Series. This year, Go Academy is holding new workshops in math, science, English and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, Florida, North Carolina, Ohio, California, and a couple other states. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful.
Bye.